Hello everyone, I Cares here. Today we'll continue working on my game Zaris with an objective to make it actually fun to play. If you haven't seen the previous dialogue episodes about it, then go and check them out. In my last video, I said we will be working on a new progression system based on a skill tree, and that's exactly what we are going to do today. So, before I actually get into work, let's make the main idea of this new progression system clear. Basically, Za, the protagonist of the game, has somehow obtained a Divine Core, a personal device used by the creators of these robots, which gives her an ability to interact with these monuments, sense robots nearby, and of course obtain some superhuman abilities. These abilities will be listed in the form of a skill tree, like in all those cool RPGs. To unlock a new skill, the player will need to spend one ancient core, which can be obtained by hacking and then killing machines, and a certain amount of divine energy, gained along with normal energy which you spend to actually use skills. This will encourage the player to use hacking more extensively, as it's going to be necessary to progress the game. It's important that Divine Core won't be the main source of flat upgrades like maximum health, stamina, inventory space, bolstering speed and anything of this sort. Its focus will be customization of the experience. Let me explain. Flat upgrades I mentioned earlier are useful in any playstyle, while the things that are going to be unlocked with the Divine Core will be useful in some specific playstyles. Which brings us to my favorite part – character building. This means that you will be able to customize the way you play the game by choosing skills and perks you want to have. There will be three main branches – combat archery, melee weapons and stealth, which also includes hacking. You can mix and match the skills from all three branches, forming builds you are comfortable with. Alright, enough talking, let's get to actual development. First things first, I need a skill tree, and I'm lazy, so I don't want to create it manually. I would rather spend two whole days figuring out an algorithm to generate it procedurally. Damn, what am I doing with my time? Ok, at least it turned out to work rather well, so I'm happy with it for now. Time to add some juice. Another two days later, I got the skill tree to look super juicy with all of these cool animations, shaders and even more animations. But we're still lacking the actual building mechanic, so let's get to it. I decided to put the information about the current skill configuration here on the left, in the form of this nice little list. It shows you your current capacity, which is basically a limit to how many things you can activate at a time. Each skill has its capacity requirement, and if you don't have enough of it, you won't be able to put the skill into your build. If you click on a skill, you will see the information about it here on the right. It shows you the description of the skill, its type, capacity, how much energy it takes to be used, and its cooldown time. To unlock a new skill, you should make sure that you have at least one ancient core, enough divine energy, and that all of the parent skills are unlocked. If all of the requirements are met, the skill will start shining a bit and you will be able to obtain it either by double clicking or by pressing the button in the info section. When the skill is unlocked, it can be equipped, again either by double clicking or via the info section. This manual also has a complete controller support and it turned out to be so good that I still can't decide which input method is more comfortable in this case. So I think it's pretty cool. Alright, this turned out to be a rather small video, but this divine core system is a hell ton of work for me, so I hope you understand. As you can see, I also started to fill out the tree, using my own and some of your ideas for it, but most of the skills still don't do anything. We will certainly expand on this system in the future videos, especially after the introduction of melee weapons. But for now, thanks for watching, subscribe not to miss something cool, and I will see you next time. Bye bye!